going on everyone? It's Brainwitch Code You Find Jewelry, Shore Personal Jeweler. In this video, I want to talk about the bigger size rope chains, or in my opinion, the bigger size rope chains that you could still wear every day, like I'm wearing in this video, the six millimeter through eight millimeter. I know this will help out a lot of people. I'm not trying to flex a 10 millimeter rope because that'll apply maybe to one person out of a thousand. This is what you guys want and want to see, and I want to talk about each width, the importance, how to wear it, and my recommendation. With that being said, Said, let's get started. The rope chain, one of the world's most popular chains, the top selling chain style that I sell. It's a great look and a timeless look. I'll say it again, you could have a kid wearing it and you could have his grandfather wearing the rope chain. That is what the rope chain is and will always forever be. Enough of that, let's get to a classic side by side with these rope chains so you guys can see the comparison. Six millimeter on the left, six and a half millimeter, seven millimeter, and eight millimeter. Now, when you're looking at the side by side, you kind of look from left to right, you see some differences there, but they all kind of look the same, except when I take away the two middle. Let's go side by side between the six millimeter and the eight millimeter. Now you see the drastic jump for only two millimeters in width, and that's the, the name of the game with any chain. So I want to stress that importance to you because again, on camera, these chains look bigger. I say, I try to in every video or everything I do I try to say that because it is true what a six millimeter looks on camera you get in real life say wow I wanted something like the seven millimeter look something a little thicker please keep in that, that in mind in this video I say it to help you guys to inform you guys that's why I make these videos so when you go side by side half millimeter one millimeter makes a big difference directly comparing it but that is in the hand. Let's see how it looks on the neck. Let's start off with the six millimeter, and I apologize, I don't have the stock on the six millimeter to do the proper length that I would, more like a 20 inch if I was making this video with all the chains. I only have a longer size, so I have to make do with that, but I want to include the six millimeter in this video. My opinion, my favorite rope chain to wear every single day if you're working and just kind of want that subtle look, but a nice chain, the six millimeter is perfect. That's what I would go for myself if I was to buy a rope chain for that every day day use. So the six millimeter does really well. I like it and it is really popular. You compare it to the six and a half and I sell these sizes for a reason because again, these look bigger on camera. You might want something a little thicker every half millimeter you go and I'll say it and I'll say it and I'll say it makes a big difference. So on my neck, I got the 22 inch six and a half millimeter rope chain and that has just that extra half millimeter has more weight to it as well as look. So when I'm wearing it on the neck, you can see it stands out a little bit more. Nothing too drastic. Remember when you're going with rounded chains, if you want that tuck in look, when you tuck in that chain, it's still going to leave that imprint because it's a rounded chain compared to a Flacker, Miami Cuban Link, Figaro, Mariner. You get the point. Next up, we have the 7 millimeter. I have that at 24 inches in length. What I like about kind of those thicker, longer chains, you could unclasp them. For me, 24 inch over my head without unclasping. And with a lobster clasp like these rope chains have, it's good just to kind of preserve that. You'll be fine if you don't use that clasp at all. So it's good. And then you get more of a casual look with a 24 inch to seven millimeter. If I was truly going for a chain and I'm more of a subtle guy, I mean, you call me big chain brain, I'm more just subtle chain brain. It doesn't even rhyme, make sense, but that's who I am. But if I was really trying to flash and dash, I would probably go with the seven millimeter over all of these because it does have that presence. It's nice, the diamond cuts, when you step out, especially like a Friday evening, Saturday night, nice dinner, or whatever, if you have a nice pendant to pair with it, this would be a great chain to have. So seven millimeter, put that on your list and my recommendations if you're looking for that chain that has that flash and that weight. Last but not least is the eight millimeter. Now I made this video in mind for the everyday chain. Nothing that's gonna be like, oh my gosh, you're Mr. T. Yes, you're gonna get those comments from people that don't really know chains, but from the gold chain community, like all of us are, it's not that big of a chain. So you can wear every day. Keep in mind that tucking, you're gonna have the, you could see the imprint under the shirt. So you have to be comfortable with that. But for, in my opinion, going with the six through eight millimeters, these are good everyday chains. Obviously eight millimeter at the end is the biggest that I'm showing. But if you want that presence, 
if you want people knowing you're a rope chain, you want to have that value in gold, the extra weight and width, the eight millimeter is perfect and I have that on the casual 26 inch. On my neck for your guys' reference and a slight flex, I got the six and a half millimeter 22 inch, seven millimeter 24 inch and eight millimeter 26 inch. And years and years ago when I first started four years ago, 400 videos ago, I made a layering or styling your rope chain and I had like the three, three and a half, four millimeter rope and I thought I was balling. I loved it. Fast forward a long time. I still love it. And here we go. We're still balling, but we got some slightly thicker rope chains. It doesn't matter the width as long as you layer them right. That's the cardinal rule. Know what you're doing when you're layering them and they will look good because you could have someone with a huge rope chain and it's just not layered right. They're not wearing it right. It doesn't look right at the end of the day. So you have to have that spacing, that layering. Screenshot these B-rolls to help you guys. Remember, keep in mind, they look slightly bigger on camera video. I always recommend going up to what your budget allows you to do so when you get it you're like okay so you know and that's the good thing about having half sizes I try to bring as many half sizes as possible for that reason the four millimeter flat curve maybe the four and a half was right the three millimeter rope maybe the three and a half millimeter was right you guys get the point at the end of the day I'm out here trying to work for you and provide you the best service quality content as possible let me know down below which is your favorite rope chain I like the six millimeter for everyday subtle size with the option to pair like a large size pendant but if you're going all if you're balling i like the seven millimeter as well let me know down below that's it for today's video and we'll see you on our next jewelry video